Hi there, it's Carmel with Hot Mama's Fat Loss and my daughter Janessa. She's going to be helping me cook today. And I, I just got done with my workout and I had my post-workout shake and headed home and cleaned up a bit and now I'm starved so I'm ready to have my second meal of the day. So I chose to have a oat cake today and I made sure I got some gluten-free rolled oats because I'm highly sensitive to gluten and wheat. So I made sure I got the gluten-free kind. Um, I'm then going to add some flaxseed, some ground flaxseed to my oat cake and we're going to use egg whites and real vanilla, real vanilla extract, not imitation. Imitation has lots of garbage in it. You don't want that. And ground cinnamon. So first I'm going to start off by putting some coconut oil in my pan and heat that up just a tiny bit, just on medium heat. Um, just let it melt and then while that's melting and the pan's heating, I'm going to mix up my oat cake. So we'll be right back. Okay, so I'm adding a half a cup of oats and about a teaspoon of vanilla. And add as much cinnamon as you like. I don't really measure the cinnamon. I just shake it in there. Call it good. You can add one tablespoon of flaxseed, ground flaxseed. And two egg whites. So once I get all those ingredients in there, then I just stir it with a fork. Make sure all the oats get coated with egg white so none of them are dry. See? Get all that cinnamon stirred in and flax seed. Okay, so now I have that all stirred up and I'm going to go ahead and pour it in my pan. My coconut oil is melted, my pan's warm. So at first your oat cake is going to be like this and I want you to spread it out a little bit. Make it a little thinner. Okay, and it's going to cook for just a couple minutes, and then we're going to flip it over just like a regular pancake. Does it look yummy? Janessa, does it look yummy? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we flipped it over, and it's looking golden brown, ready to be eaten. Right, Janessa? Okay, so this is what your oat cake might look like. Mine fell apart a little bit when I was trying to get it onto the plate. So next, I'm going to put some peanut butter and agave nectar on it and eat it up. I'm so excited. You guys should give it a try.